Hi, everyone. Hello. This is Hannah again, and welcome to another edition of Kitchen Table Art with me. Um, this is Hearts Need Art, and we are a creative support um, intended for people with um, with life alternate life altering illnesses. Um, once again, thank you guys for being here today. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not really different for me, but I don't you know, really bring out the oil pastels. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to do today, it's just oil pastels, um, something relaxing, just because it's kind of a sleepy day for me today. I'm not going to lie. Um, super hot. I love being outside, but uh, unfortunately, it makes me extremely tired. Um, so I want to do something um, that I consider pretty relaxing today. So we can go ahead and jump into it. You're actually about to see a little kitty cross into the screen right now. She wants to see what I'm doing. So anyway, um, let me begin. I'm actually going to um, continue drawing this thing right here. And there's her tail right there. Her name is Lisa. Anyway, I'm going to continue my little um, drawing right here. Um, I was working on this, and I wanted to finish this up for you guys here so you can see me finish drawing it. Uh, let me know if you can tell what kind of flower this is. So that's the middle of the flower, and that's Dulce. She says hi. She always likes to see what I'm doing. I'm going to continue with this petal. These petals are pretty um, deep, as in like deep like that. They're kind of like cupped a little bit. Here they are. Here's the other one. Now I really wanted to do oil pastels, um, not only just because they're they're relaxing for me personally, but I've been working with them a lot with patients. Um, whenever I do my one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, two of my patients have been doing um, oil pastels. So I figured, you know what, I may as well bring them here to our live stream. Um, so speaking of one-on-one -on -one sessions, I actually do those um, three times a week. Let me drop that one. Sorry, I'm getting distracted myself. Okay. I actually do those three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Um, if you are an individual who is a patient, any kind of patient, um, who is a, um, a caregiver or a healthcare worker, then we have a little classes for you guys where you can either schedule to do something art related or you can schedule um, a writing session or a um, music session. There we go. There. Now, this is a magnolia, in case you couldn't tell. So the thing about oil pastels, um, I'm just using like regular mixed media paper, but you can use um, Bristol paper if you want to. Um, I recommend like something that's a little bit stiffer, maybe some sort of artboard of some kind, something that's a little bit stiffer. This one is definitely a little bit stiffer. Um, I'm actually going to start by adding a little bit of color. Now, magnolias are normally going to be um, white flowers, white petals. But I actually like to add a little something different to them. I don't, I don't know. Personally, I want to add a little bit of color to them. And since my main color is going to be white, um, this one, this white is actually going to drag into um, the rest of the flower as I go. And you'll kind of see how that works too. Like that. Now I'm only putting it on the outside. And I'm going with the shape of the flower with the uh, kind of the, that cupping motion or that cupping shape around the outside mostly because the inside is gonna be mostly white. And you'll see why I do that in a second here. There we go. Now I could add, Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of this. 
maybe a little there, a little there. Don't have to add it anywhere or everywhere, I should say. So to rhyme. Maybe I can mix it up a little bit and maybe add a little bit of pink. You'll see what happens whenever I add that white to it. I'm thinking I have a lot of um, warm colors around here. Maybe I can add a little bit of a cooler color, maybe purple, especially down here where I know it's a little bit deeper set. Don't need a lot. Where it's kind of hidden behind things like that. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I actually tend to lose my colors, so maybe I should actually put these back. Maybe even a little bit of that. And I'll show you. Can't wait to show you these colors dragging in. Now I'm going to add this blue to the back side underneath the petals. I don't actually know how that's going to turn out, but it just sort of felt like it needed to happen. Like it needs to happen. We'll see if my gut feeling is actually right. If not, that's okay. Without further ado, start at the top simply because I want those colors to drag down and my movements are going to be going with the shape of the flower. So kind of curving with the curves out here. Curving like now, whenever you're using um, pastels, watch out for any other colors that might be on here. I think you can already see there's a little bit of pink there. Um, down here, there's a little bit of a ton of different colors from where I've been um, gripping it. Those are going to show up in your white areas. And even though this is a white area, I'm still going to be adding as much of this color as I can as much of this white as I can. Still going with the shape. I can always add a little bit of something else. I'm thinking blue, but I'm thinking I might also do some more of the insides here just to see what happens. See what color I might want to use with that. Now, for you guys, if you ever work with uh, pastels, oil pastels at home, I don't recommend pressing down as hard as I press down here. See that? You can still see that pencil mark. And for some of you guys, that may be okay, but typically we want to not have that pencil mark in there. So, but I just want, I wanted you guys to be able to see my, uh, my pencil stroke. But for you guys, I definitely recommend pressing down very lightly. I always say that. I'm going to come down here, still going with the shape, kind of looking like I have a little bit of something, something dark colored. But the reason I stress going with the shape of whatever you're doing is because if you happen to have a color on here that you don't like and it transfers onto the paper, at least it will have the same shape that you're going in. It won't look too, too out of place. There we go. And I'm concentrating on the middles of these things, of these petals first. There we go, so let's take 
I definitely recommend doing some longer brush strokes and some shorter brush strokes. There we go. I hope your week has been okay. Hope you all had a nice, good week and are ready for the weekend. Speaking of which, this is actually going to be the last week in May, and then we're coming up on June, and I don't know if you guys know this, but June is actually, or June 11th, I should say, is actually a pretty big day for us. We're going to have a fundraiser um, on that day, uh, so the entire day is going to be actually filled with a ton of different activities. Um, you can sign up for some of those activities. You can watch us live on YouTube and here on Facebook Live and tune into a lot of the talks that are going to be given by patients and by caregivers as well. Um, we're going to have a lot of different guests coming up and talking to us live all day. Um, and then at 7, we're going to have different types of games, including Pictionary. So if you want to play Pictionary um, with a bunch of other people, that's the day to do it. Seven o'clock. Yours truly is going to be the host of Pictionary. So if you want to sign up, we actually have um, links on our Facebook page. So you're more than welcome to sign up there. But I'm excited about it. We should have some um, links somewhere as well. Yeah, I think I see it on the, on the screen ahead of time. But it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun little fundraiser. I'm actually going to be doing a, um, a live art, um, a live stream with the uh, founder, Constanza. She is going to be doing some sort of art project with me. I'm thinking I may do something um, watercolor related, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I want to do something, something different. So that's going to be June 11th, all day. The live art show is going to be um, at 6. The Pictionary or Dance, a uh, dance little, little uh, dance off, is going to be at 7. Now I'm doing this here because I realized that this petal is shaped a little bit differently. So, let's see. maybe I'll put a little bit of purple just on the bottom. Like that. Maybe a little bit of this peach color at the top. And then let's see what happens in the middle when it meets the blue. Not too bad. Still going with the shape. Shape of the petal. And I think I'm actually also going to add some uh, yellow in there. Still doing white. But I'm really glad that I added that color. It really sort of helped to define the, um, not brush strokes, but the oil pastel strokes, I guess. Really helps to define those. Helps to reinforce its shape, I should say. Down here, we will add a little bit more purple. I feel like it just kind of calls for more purple. Maybe in a little bit, I will also put some gray. I feel like the gray is really going to help to push those dark areas. And then just a little bit down here. Now, for the background, 
if anybody has any suggestions for what I should do in the background, let me know. Perhaps what colors I should do in the background. Perhaps um, what kind of abstract shapes or brush strokes. Not brush strokes. Um, oil pastel strokes, I guess. I'm trying to think of a better way to phrase this thing. Let's see. It's a little bit hard to define the shape of this area. Maybe that helps. Maybe that's good for it. Ah. What do you guys think? Now, when I use these pastels, I'm actually pressing down hard. Like, at least on, at least after I put that layer of um, white on there, I am pressing down hard after that. Before that, not so much, because it really doesn't take that much. And I'm putting this gray on the bottom. Just because I want to push those dark areas. And there. Now I'm going to put a little bit in the middle there. I'm thinking... This yellow first. And then maybe this yellow, and then maybe a little bit of gray. I think that gray is going to help to bring everything together, make it a little bit more cohesive. Or maybe it's going to be that white that makes it more cohesive. Maybe. Do I see any suggestions for anything? I will always use you guys' suggestions, in case you didn't know. I always love incorporating other people's ideas into the work that I show you guys. One of my favorite things. And honestly, it makes things a lot a lot more interesting. There. Now, I'm going to do... I'm going to do something a little bit more abstract. Um, usually magnolias, they have these huge leaves uh, going outside of them. So really, really big leaves. Um, they're going to be like a darker green, but more like a like a brownish green, I would say, but I'm not sure if I want to go that route. I think I might actually want to maybe do some brighter colors, perhaps this kind of teal, teal green. Unless you guys have any suggestions. I don't see any suggestions in the chat yet, but that's okay. One of my, well, I feel like one of my strengths is improvising. So, thinking about the motion of the abstract um, brush strokes I want to do. So, maybe something a little bit rounder. Maybe some sort of spiral. Just making this up as I go. Maybe I will put some yellows in the middle. Have it spiral out. Maybe what else can I do? A little bit in here, maybe. I 
let's see, it's a lot of yellow. Let's put, let's see, a little bit of this on the outside. As I overlap it, it's gonna create that same kind of green that you see on uh, magnolia leaves, that like brownish, yellowy green. I kind of like that. I honestly did not intend for that to happen. Kind of cool. So maybe I will drag a little bit of that back here. Maybe a little bit of that back here. I kind of like the way some of these are looking. Now, a lot of times when you're using oil pastels, um, it's that layering look that you really want to go for. So layering on top, color after color after color. I could very much keep it, keep this particular piece um, more about the motion of the lines instead of the layering of lines. Maybe that's what this piece will be more about. I always like to think about intention with my pieces. What do I intend on doing with this piece? Do I intend on relaxing? Do I intend, well, I always intend on relaxing. What am I saying? But do I intend on um, making lines? Do I intend on making smaller brush strokes uh, or pencil strokes? Do I intend on making wider ones? Do I intend on watching watercolor move across the paper if I were using watercolor? Things like that. There we go. So, Movement is what I want for this one. There. What other color should I add to it? Maybe like orange, maybe? Or, I don't know. I always like to add orange to things. But maybe like this really pretty magenta. Kind of like that. This magenta makes purple. So I can add it sparingly at the top, but when you overlap it with the orange, I'm sorry, with the yellow, it creates orange. Like that. That was kind of cool. Maybe I can stretch some of this and connect these two areas. That. Yeah, that's bad. What do you guys think, though? Does it need something? Does it need another color, maybe? Because honestly, I think it might actually almost be finished. This might be one of the quickest live streams I've ever done. Unless I need something else. I kind of just want to make sure I get that red pretty evenly spread out, but like not adding too much to it though. Now, what else does it need in here? Let me know what you guys think. If it needs anything in here, I kind of think it needs to be darkened in these areas, like maybe right there. Maybe a little bit more in here. So I can add a little bit more pink to sort of give the illusion of it being darkened. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the cats are fighting. They're just, they're sisters. They're doing what sisters do. What siblings do. Now I'm adding a little bit of purple down here. And I am going to add some white. I say white and gray. I always like to add everything else first before I add the white on top. It has a little bit of um, yellow in there, so it's going to watch out for that. Although a little bit of yellow in here would be okay. So as I am finishing up, I just want to remind you guys that if you are a patient, if you are a caregiver, or if you're a healthcare worker, then feel free to sign up to get a little one-on-one -on -one session with me. Um, I have them on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So if you want to do a little art session, a little art session with me. Um, any medium that you want, any medium that you happen to have at your disposal, um, no need to go out and buy anything, anything fancy, not really. Um, I know I have one, one student who all she really has is like uh, pencils and pens and color pencils. So we did something in um, pen and pencil, like a little drawing lesson the other day in pen and pencil. So don't really need to get super fancy. Just want you guys to be able to relax with anything that you have. Almost done. And then June 11th, we're gonna have our Heartbeat Art fundraiser. So an entire day filled with events, an entire day of uh, events on YouTube and on Facebook Live as well, as well as Pictionary at 7 or a dance-off. Um, and I believe there actually is also going to be a music session, but I, I don't exactly remember what that's going to be. I think I'm done, guys. What do you guys think? There it is. A pastel, oil pastel magnolia. So I hope you guys enjoyed being able to watch me do something like this. It's only lately that I've been working in oil pastels. I don't normally work in oil pastels, but I have been lately. So. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, that is actually it for today. So you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, stay cool out there. I know it's like super hot now. So please hydrate yourself, you guys. Um, until next time, y'all take care. Bye-bye.